Hello guys, welcome back to Silent Studios once again. This is your man GitK and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to manipulate your studio backgrounds in Photoshop. So without wasting much more time, let's jump right into the video. So you could see this image right here has been edited and then everything in this image looks dull, which I don't want my images to look dull. So I realized the skin tone was also matching the background which i didn't want it that way i always want my skin tone to stand out or pop out in the image so i decided to add some color to the background and also add an overlay to the background to make it look spicy and before you can achieve this i have a product on my digital store which i'll leave the link in the description below if you want to buy it you can get it right from my store and then it's very very equipped it's 500 plus background overlay and some png stuff yes all for you at an affordable price very very cheap and it's a customer friendly price at first it was free for a limited time and then you just have to drop something small and then you get it so without talking much let's move straight away so um this is uh the png pack i was talking about you can see it's super super packed it's 541 items and it's that's why it's 10 500 plus so upon selecting or going through this whole pack i decided to select this to work on or to use for this video for you guys so we'll just drag it into photoshop and then we'll start so once you place your overlay in photoshop you have to resize or transform it to fit your canvas size so you do that quickly you transform it to it covers all the edges or of the cover of the canvas sorry so you press ok and then on this canvas you could see some start off points for the main background and then the floor yes if you look closely you can see it so i'll just turn it off and then you can also see that in the image so whenever you are manipulating your background you have to know the start off point of the of your image so that you don't mess the image all up instead of you bringing the start off point here maybe you take it to this upper part and then the background looks some way which I don't want you to do that because I want your work to look professional as mine. So what our advice or suggest you do is you make use of the rulers in Photoshop. So you drag it to a point you feel that's where or you can see the start of points from of your image. So once we can achieve that, you just turn on your overlay back on and then we drag it to fit your image on. And then we resize it once more. We resize it once more, just a little. And then we are okay. Yeah. So I think this is okay. And then this is where our work is about to begin. So yeah, I've done our I've already done my um subject selection because if I'm to do it it's going to, it's going to take a lot of time so i'll just drag my subject selection on this um background to do that you have to hold your alt button and then you drag you drag it so you can see the selection has been inverted so you have to reinvert it and you can achieve that with your Control plus i on your keyboard i don't know for mac but i'm a windows user so yes let's continue and then you can't leave it this way it doesn't look professional so yeah you have to bring in all the shadows and everything in the image so what you are going to do is you are going to change the blending mode of the overlay to overlay overlay itself as the word states so yeah we change it to overlay and then you can see it's still not looking good though the shadows and the reflection is visible it's not looking good 
everything looks red in the image so we have to bring down the opacity to a desired choice because i'm not sure you are going to use the same background as i used in the image so um i'll, I'll reduce my opacity to about 50 percent that's what normally i do because 50 is moderate and i think i'll have to retransform my background a little i feel it's too close to the uh to my subject here so good i have to delete this layer mask again i had to on pin it before doing before transforming it but it skipped me so yeah good so now look at the results we are not done we still have to change the color of the background because it's still contrasting with the skin tones yes it can it's not allowing the image to stand out yes, so we can achieve that with our hue and saturation slider or our adjustment panel so i've already done it and this is the color i got so we have to reinvert it yes and this is the color i got you can also do same let me turn this off and then just do a demonstration for you guys so you come to adjustments down here and then you choose hue and saturation and then you choose the color picker and then you make sure it selects what your color picker is giving you and then after that you can regulate it to a desired color choice yes so if it's pink or indigo any color you want you can choose and then you manipulate it yourself so imagine you want this and then i just drag this into it look at how it's looking but i'm not i'm not in love with this color no matter how i regulate it maybe the saturation i'm still not loving this you know greens pop out a lot of colors yes so i decided to go with green so let's delete this was just a demonstration so yes this is the kind of color i'm looking for and then you could see the edges here looks a very looks very very dark so i had to create a brightness over there just to clear that darkness or that shadows yes so when you look closely you could you could see the selection didn't do well with the hair and to achieve that you can go in for your brush and then you just increase it to a desired choice and then you brush on the hair so you make sure you're on the hue and saturation slider adjustment layer and then you just brush on it just for the hair edges to match with the background yes so you do that very carefully so that you don't mess it up with your main subject as in their clothes and also their face so with the edges the edges only to make your selection look real because you don't want it in a way whereby people will notice that the background has been manipulated good so we could see we are halfway done and then lastly before we finish this tutorial you could see the background still isn't perfect so what i do is i create a black and white adjustment layer and then i clip mask it into my overlay so with the aid of this button right here i can do it or you just click on alt yes it makes their background look natural very very natural so i would like to group this three stuff here and i'll show you the before and after so before and then after and then you can see there's a big difference and also the skin tone has or has popped out yes so this was the final look i got yes you can see everything looks good so yeah as i said earlier if you want to achieve this look you can purchase it on my digital store there's a link in the description make sure you tap on it and then 
there are also much products that is going to benefit you so i would like you to click on it and then go have a look and then you can choose from your choice so this will be ending you guys thanks for watching this video as well you can share it to your friends and other photographers as well and i'll be back with another amazing tutorial mm -hmm.